Hello, my name is Jeannie Blakely and I'm a librarian here at Georgia Highlands College. I'm an embedded librarian for this class. That just means I'm in the class with you. I've put a box with all of my contact information on your course homepage. Don't hesitate to get in touch with me if you need help with any aspect of this project. I've also put together an online library guide to help with the assignment that you have coming up. I wanted to walk you through that and to give you a few tips about searching Galileo. You can find the library guide under Research Project and Library Guide for Research Project. In this guide, I tried to pull together all the online library resources that I think might be helpful to you as you work on this paper. You can move through the guide by clicking through the tabs at the top of the page here. The first tab is the Assignment tab. We like to keep that together with the guide in case you need help and encounter a librarian who isn't familiar with the assignment. Having the assignment right there helps us to know exactly what you need so that we can help you better. The second tab is the Galileo tab. Galileo is a huge collection of over 300 different well-respected research databases. It's an awesome resource. And you get access as a GHC student and can access it at home via password that changes each semester. Galileo is the perfect place to find good, credible articles to back up the arguments in your paper. Remember, all information sources on the Internet are not created equal. You should look at all of the sources you will find with a critical eye, but in general you can be more confident about the credibility of articles you found in Galileo. Let's talk a little about searching Galileo for this research paper. For complex topics like the ones here, I recommend Galileo Discover. The Galileo homepage is a good place to start. Galileo Discover essentially does a Google-like search over a good portion of the different databases in Galileo, though it's important to remember that it doesn't search all the databases. There are some really good ones that it either does a poor job of searching or doesn't search at all. That's why I've linked directly to those four databases here. The results from these four databases, all good ones for your topics, would not come up in the Galileo homepage search. You need to search those separately. Galileo Discover also tends to do huge searches, bringing back far more articles than you could ever wade through, many of them not relevant. That's why it's a really good idea to use the advanced search option and to use a number of different keywords and limiters in your search. Let's try that on the topic of the history of chimney sweeps and child labor laws as it relates to Blake's poetry. I'm going to use the term chimney sweeps and then put in child labor and also history is another search term. This is a good time to note that Galileo does not like phrase searches. You'll do much better picking out keywords like I did than trying to search a phrase like the history of chimney sweeps and child labor. We still have a huge number of articles. I could limit further by choosing full text. I could also choose other limiters, restricting articles by item type or subject. Instead, I'm going to take a look at my results list and see what I can learn from that. Many times, one good article on your topic can lead you to alternative keywords to use in a new search to help you find more articles. Perhaps there's another common word for chimney sweep or a subject heading that I can use. Both this first ebook on child labor and the second article about chimney sweeps look promising. I can access the most relevant pages of the ebook here under most relevant pages and email up to 60 pages of text to myself. Or I could email this article to myself. When I do research, I tend to briefly skim an article, and if it looks at all useful, I'll email it to myself for later, closer reading. I can do that by clicking on the article and clicking the email link right here. I can go back to the library guide and do the same search in JSTOR, a very academic liberal arts database that would be excellent for this assignment. Again, use the advanced search and our same search terms, chimney sweeps, child labor, and history. And we get a completely different results list. 
you should go back and try your keyword search in each of these databases to make sure you're getting as many articles as possible. The Books tab links you to GilFind, GHC's library catalog. GilFind contains holdings for all the items in the GHC library, plus close to 80,000 ebooks and streaming videos that you can access right at home. I've created a short video tutorial on searching GilFind that you can access right here. The next tab on the guide gives some examples and some links to some very helpful websites of how to cite some common sources in MLA format. And the last tab includes all the different ways you can get in touch with us and ask for help. Remember, while we love to see people, see people come in our library, we can also help a lot through chat or over the phone. Don't be afraid to give us a call. I hope this little video has been helpful. Remember to get in touch with us if you need help, and good luck with your paper.